Hey guys, it's Danny with Minnesota Lands and Homes Real Estate, and I'm here to bring you step five on how to purchase a home. Now, you have talked with your lender, which was step one, and you've gotten your pre-approval. You have interviewed agents to find an agent that you enjoy working with and that you trust. Um, and you have picked your realtor, started uh, looking at properties, and you've written up your, uh, or your offer, and now your offer has been accepted. Now, what does this mean? This is step five, accepted offer. Um, this means all of your timelines for inspections are gonna start. So whether you are having a property, full property um, inspection, or if you are having a licensed HVAC come in and just take a look at your heating uh, system, these are all things that are under your inspection umbrella. Now, a lot of people get confused with the inspection versus the appraisal. The appraisal is done for the bank, the inspection is done for you. So make sure you talk with your agent. If you if you had a 15 days on there or 10 days, you need to get that done in that time frame. Now, another thing that's going to be happening during this process is your agent is going to be working with the lenders very closely. So they are gonna be sending the lender copies of your purchase agreement. Um, they're gonna be talking with them about, hey, we removed the inspection contingency. Lender's going to be ordering the appraisal. And then there's also a closer that is involved in this. Now your agent should be in good uh, communications with them as well. Um, letting them know everything that the, the closing date that you had picked, the date that you're shooting for. Um, those are all people that are still a part of this transaction. Now, once your appraisal comes in, say your appraisal comes in low, then what happens? Ask your realtor, um, find out what your options are there. These are all questions that are very, very good to be in communication with your realtor about because you don't know. You know, what happens if it's 20,000 below at or below your uh, purchase price? Those things matter. So definitely make sure you contact your realtor, let them know. Now, there's only one more step left. So that is step six, and that is going to be closing time. So click below, and then you can start that video. Thanks, guys.